Welcome aviation fans! Today we're comparing between two giants of the sky, the Airbus A380 and the Boeing 747. It's 2025, and while these iconic quad jets aren't rolling off production lines anymore, they still hold a special place in the hearts of travelers and plane spotters alike. So which one comes out on top in 2025? Stick around as we break it down across design, performance, passenger experience, and legacy. Hit that subscribe button and let's get started! Let's set the stage. The Boeing 747, affectionately known as the Queen of the Skies, on first took flight in 1969 and entered service in 1970 with Pan Am. It was the world's first jumbo jet, a game changer that shrank the globe by making long haul travel affordable and accessible. Fast forward to 2005, and Airbus answered with the A380, the largest passenger plane ever built designed to tackle airport congestion and carry more people than ever before. By 2025, neither is in production, but their stories are far from over. The 747's latest variant, the 747-8, rolled out in 2011, while the A380's production ended in 2021. Today, we'll compare the A380-800, the only version Airbus made, with the 747-8 Intercontinental Boeing's final passenger model. But we'll also nod to the 747's broader legacy, because it's been around for over 50 years. First up, design. The A380 is a full double-decker, two complete passenger decks running the length of the fuselage. It's 238.6 feet long with a massive wingspan of 261.8 feet and stands 79.8 feet tall. That's a flying skyscraper. The 747-8, on the other hand, has that iconic hump, a partial upper deck at the front. It's actually longer at 250.3 feet, but its wingspan is smaller at 224.4 feet, and it's shorter in height at 63.6 feet. So what does this mean? The A380's double deck design gives it 49% more cabin floor space, about 5,150 square feet, compared to the 747-8's 3,465 square feet. But the 747-8's stretched fuselage makes it the longest passenger jet ever. Visually, the 747's hump is pure nostalgia, while the A380 looks like a modern beast. Which design wins? It depends. Capacity or classic style? We'll get to that. Let's just talk numbers. The A380 was built for volume. In a typical three-class setup, first business and economy, it seats around 525 passengers. Cram it with all economy seats, and you're looking at 853. The 747-8 in a three-class config holds about 410 passengers, with a max of 605 in all economy. That's a big gap. The A380 can carry over 100 more people in standard layouts. But here's the catch. Filling those seats isn't easy. The A380 shines on busy hub-to-hub -hub routes. Think London to Dubai or Tokyo to Los Angeles. Airlines like Emirates have even added bars and showers for first-class passengers, turning it into a flying palace. The 747-8, though smaller, is more flexible. Its size suits long-haul routes with decent demand, but not enough to justify a super jumbo. Plus, that upper deck, it's a vibe, exclusive and intimate. In 2025, the A380's capacity is a double-edged sword. Post-pandemic, airlines like British Airways and Qantas brought it back for high-demand routes, but many retired it when travel tanked. The 747-8, flown by carriers like Lufthansa and Korean Air, hangs on with fewer seats to fill. Point for versatility. Goes to Boeing here. Now, let's get technical. The A380's four engines, either Rolls-Royce Trent 900s or Engine Alliance GP7 200s, deliver up to 320,000 pounds of thrust total. The 747-8's four GE GeneX engines pump out about 266,000 pounds. More thrust for the A380 makes sense. It's heavier, with an operating empty weight of around 6 10,000 pounds versus the 747-8's 485,000 pounds. But efficiency? It's a battle. Boeing claims the 747-8 burns 11% less fuel per passenger than the A380, thanks to its lighter weight per seat. Airbus counters that the A380 uses 8% less fuel per passenger than the 747-8, especially at higher speeds like Mach 0.86. 
Independent stats from 2019 pegged the A380 at 3.27 liters per 100 kilometers per seat, just beating the 747-8's 3.35. It's close. Range-wise, the A380 edges out with 8,000 nautical miles. Think New York to Hong Kong non-stop. The 747-8 clocks in at 7,730 nautical miles. Still impressive like LA to Sydney. But in 2025, fuel costs are sky high and twin jets like the 787 and A350 are stealing the show with better efficiency. These quads, they're gas guzzlers by today's standards. The A380's quietness is a bonus, 50% less noise on takeoff than a 747-400 and even quieter than the 747-8. Passengers love it and airports do too. Efficiency's a tie, but the A380 gets a nod for comfort here. By 2025, the A380's tail is bittersweet. Airbus built 251 before halting production in 2021. Emirates, with over 100 in its fleet, keeps them flying, but others, like Air France, scrapped them during the pandemic. Total orders? Just 290. The 747, though? Boeing made 1574 across all variants, with 154 of the 747-8s ordered and 134 delivered by 2023. When production stopped, the 747-8 outlasted the A380 in production, and its freighter version, the 747-8F, is still a cargo king in 2025, hauling goods for UPS and Atlas Air. The A380 freighter? never happened. Cancelled in 2007, the 747's versatility and 50-year reign give it a legacy edge, but the A380's sheer scale and luxury, unmatched. Fun fact, the 747-8 will live on as the next Air Force One, expected in 2027. The A380, it's a passenger-only legend dominating slot-constrained hubs like Heathrow. In 2025, fewer than 50 passenger 787s fly, mostly 747-8s, while about 100 A380s are active. Both are fading, but their impact endures. All right, let's step inside. The A380's cabin is a dream. Wider aisles, bigger windows, and that double-deck spaciousness. Emirates onboard lounge, Singapore's suites. It's luxury redefined. The 747-8's upper deck feels special, cozy and private like a secret club. Downstairs though, it's tighter than the A380. Comfort-wise, the A380's higher humidity and lower cabin altitude reduce jet lag. The 747-8 improves on older 747s, but can't match that. Noise? A380 wins again, whisper quiet compared to the 747's rumble. For long hauls in 2025, I'd pick the A380 every time. So who wins in 2025? The A380 is the king of capacity, comfort, and modern design, a passenger's dream on busy routes. The 747-8, with its efficiency, versatility, and timeless legacy, is the survivor, still relevant in cargo and niche passenger roles. If I'm flying, give me the A380's space. If I'm an airline exec, the 747-8's flexibility might sway. Me, but really, it's about what they represent. The 747 opened the skies. The A380 redefined them. Both are legends. What's your pick? Drop it in the comments, like this video, and subscribe for more aviation deep dives. See you in the skies.